I'm back to yeah, working a few by accident. I was out hunting wolverines, I travelled in a yellow submarine, I was in Narnia attending a party, Ferris Bueller's got nothing on me the day I took off work. I won the lottery several times in a row, bought a motorboat and a stately home, invested in Marmite and Toblerone for some strange reason. Placed the bet and then lost it all the day I took off work. I saved the world from an alien invasion, then discovered the key to matching socks, I managed to cure all of my trepidations, and then I found Madeline McCann in a jack-in-the-box the day I took off work. Racing through minefields, navigating through asteroids, I administered a marriage between a cowboy and his horse. They're now on the running moon. They sent me a postcard. The day I took off work was a continuous Mardi Gras. I built a time machine out of the fridge. I helped Led Zeppelin write a comeback hit. I aided a false teddy boy up that damn bridge and managed to make Lego and stickle bricks pieces fit the day I took off work. I triple right fantastic and burnt the candle at both ends, partying from dusk till dawn until the ghost sent me round the bend the day I took off work. I woke up in an alternative universe where Cobain and Ian Curtis never hailed that hers, where a red light means go and a green light means reverse. Tell me, sir, does this sound too absurd when I tell you what I did on my day off? With a twist and a shout or a stalled Atlantis, I got the Ark of the Covenant back from the Nazis. I flew around the sun and mastered running in slow motion. The day I took off work was filled with commotion. Life is a dream, and that says it all. The day I took off work was a splendiferous, manic, unbelievable fucking ball. Thank you. Too, so I'll end on a romantic one. This is called You're Never Alone with a Hound. Well, I mean, I, 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 when you're in the mood, but she's not groomed, you don't get upset, have a five finger party. When you're overcome with passion, but she's on the rag and not moved by your proposition that you'll go around the back, just cradle your balls and work the shaft because you're never alone with a hound. When you're on a dry spell and you have been for months and the horizontal disco will ease those headaches of hers. Lower your blood pressure twice a day, keep your hand in a bag of rice, get your kicks your own way to ease those lonely nights. Go on a crusade of self-harm because you're never alone with a hand. Become a renowned lover of your own practice, face off the one-armed man with a wrist of elastic. Don't sit there broken out when she spurns your advances, just check the door before you molest yourself to avoid any embarrassment. Become inseparable with your palm because you're never alone with a hand. Any woman could be yours, any dog would fetch, but when you're on your top, grabbing the devil by the horns works out best. Nobody knows better, and nobody touches you like yourself. Train that iron grip of yours for the betterment of your health. Spend some time with your favourite gland, because you're never alone with a hand. Cheers. Thank you.